and <clears throat> what we do is just put it on the canvas you could never paint this with a brush because you'd have to wait till the sky uh, dried you know, the paint on the sky to dry and you can use all different colors for your base cloud. You can use browns or dark blue or something like that. In mixing, you just keep adding until you get to the shade you want. And that's about it. So now I take this and this I use my drawing knife now. When you're up close, you have a lot of very sharp things. But as it goes back, you, it becomes very indistinct and lay one color right over the other which would be totally impossible with a brush and I painted with a brush for 25 years before I started developing my own technique. Okay, we've got the base pretty well done now, okay? All we have to do is put amplify on that. And this is what you call the focal point. It's what, when people look at a painting, it's important as to where their eyes go the minute they look at the painting the first time. You want it to be random so it doesn't look like it came out of the florist shop. But you don't want them straight across, you want to stagger them a little. And you can put bushes anywhere you want or trees. It's called artistic license. And now we've got the sun coming from this way, so we have to put a little bit of a highlight on the trunk. I had a, one woman that was, she was painting every single leaf. And, uh, you know, it makes it a little harder, but you can put leaves on trees pretty fast here. And we've about got it done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Now you see how simple that is? Mm -hmm. That's simple. You can do that.